Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to remove a user account on your Windows XP computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I want to point out, make sure you're signed in with an administrator account in order to delete the other account. So that is one thing you have to make sure of before you proceed. And once you confirm you are using an administrative account, let's go ahead and jump right into it. And we're going to start by opening up the start menu, select run, type in compmgmt.msc, exactly how you see it on my screen, select OK. And now on the left side, you want to select local users and groups, and then double click on the users folder, right click on whatever user account you want to delete, and select the delete option. So each user is represented by a unique identifier, which is independent of the username. Once a user is deleted, even creating an identically named user in the future will not restore access to resources, which currently include the user in their access control list. Are you sure you want to delete the user Thomas or whatever name it might be in your case? Make sure whatever account you're deleting has been backed up of all of the files because we're going to be deleting this account. So go ahead and select yes going to confirm if you want to go ahead and delete the user. So I just selected yes. And now if we went ahead and actually logged off, we should see that that other account is no longer present. So I do hope this brief tutorial was able to help you guys out. And as always, thank you for watching. And I look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.